not this one. Yeah, not this either. Hmm. No. 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 Jeez, perhaps what's got you all gung ho this morning? Well, some of us prefer to get their work done early. I can't say as much for a certain lazy skeleton who is asleep more than he is awake. You know, I was reading that too much sleep is bad for your mind, brother. Eh, yeah, maybe for humans. But let's stick to the main question, bro. Today happens to be Frisk's birthday. It's a human custom to celebrate the day they left their mother's womb with a party and gifts. It's important that we get Frisk something they will cherish, Sons. <coughs> A special gift? Frisk hasn't said anything about that. Ahem! <laughs> oh. Yes, of course. We will be the picture of punctuality. That was Frisk, just as I predicted their party is tonight at eight. Would you please help me pick out a gift fitting for our best friend? I've done the work of sifting through these online shops already. Just need to narrow down the choices. Any ideas, brother? What do you think Frisk would like? A new dress? A handbag of some kind? You may have overlooked something, perhaps. You need money to shop. We're flat broke. Money? Oh, that's right. I had completely forgotten. Tons, do you have any money? Didn't you just hear me when I said we're broke? Emphasis on we. Oh, well, Pooh, what are we to do with empty pockets? Oh, I know. We will just have to make money. I'm sure the two of us can make lots of money in time for the perfect gift. Oh, no, Peps. I'm not about to get wrapped up in another scheme of yours. Huh? Are very simple, dear brother. We combine our musical talents, me on piano and you on trombone, and dazzle the populace with our bombastic sound. People will come from all over the city to hear us and shower us with money. Well, it's technically not a bad idea, but... But what? I haven't picked up the trombone in years, perhaps. I guess I could sing, but I'm totally tone deaf. Got any other ideas, bro? Hmm. Come to think of it, I know exactly where we can make some money. Oh, this will be so much fun! Pets, take it easy! I still need to think about it! No need to think about anything, dear brother! <laughs> Can sleep anywhere at any time. Can make world famous, perfect, delicious, wonderful spaghetti. Able to teleport at will using shortcuts. Artistic bone control. You've got to be kidding me, right? These are not talents for a job resume, you imbeciles. Well, Undyne, uh, we were simply hoping that you would hire us for the day at your ice cream parlor. And given how trustworthy and hardworking we are, you know we will be perfect employees. Isn't that right, Sons? Er, uh, you got it. Uh, we need to earn a little dough by tonight, and we're hoping you can help. Ugh, fine. But I'm only hiring you because I'm short on staff today. Come with me, and I'll show you around. <laughs> this is probably the easiest job in the world. So easy, even you two can do it. When someone orders, just push this button. We have vanilla, chocolate, green tea, strawberry, and blueberry. After, you can add whatever toppings they ask for. The machine does all the work, but don't just press everything all at once. All you have to do is hand it over and take their money. Is that clear? Oh, 
that looks delightful. Can I have it? Only if you pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> looks easy enough. Put me to work, boss. That's Papyrus's job, Sans. Your job is outside. Follow me. Huh? Wow! No way, Undyne. I'll look ridiculous. You got anything else? Heck, I'll clean the counters or do the dishes if it means I don't gotta do this. Oh, is the widow employee unhappy with his position? It's this or nothing, pal. Now, give me a big smile. Or I mean more than usual. Can you even stop smiling? Anyway, just make the customers feel welcome. Dance around, sing a bit. Easy peasy. <laughs> Uh, hello, sir. Uh, what ice cream would you like to purchase on this day? I can assist you in making your order if you like. We have vanilla, chocolate, uh, green something, strawberry, uh... I don't need your help, youngin'. I may be old, but I can still pick out my own ice cream. Now, let's see. Hmm, strawberry is too sweet. Vanilla is too bland. What should I choose, youngin? Uh, I'm getting mixed signals. Do you want my help or not? Oh, I can do it myself, you impatient whippersnapper! Now, how about chocolate with explosive candy? Oh, no, wait, this almond ice cream looks good. Although green tea is quite hip with the kids these days. Maybe I should try that. <laughs> Come get your ice cream, vanilla, chocolate, we got it all! choose, then please allow me to choose for you. You are holding up the line. You can't rush these things, youngin. You'll understand when you're older. All right, then I'll choose for you. This makes all the flavors together if you can't decide. None other than the genius papyrus could have solved that. You are very welcome. Oh my, what wonderful colors. I hope this tastes as good as it looks. Thank you, youngin. That's one satisfied customer. Perhaps this is my true calling. Maybe I could one day buy the shop from Undyne and have my very own ice cream business. Then I could have all the ice cream I wanted every day. Oh dear! Oh, what is happening? This infernal machine must be blocked up with too much goodness. Oh, good heavens! What am I to do now? Help! Somebody help the great papyrus! Help! Oh, no! Let's get, get in everywhere! Sons! Where are you? Help me! Oh, goodness me! Blast this horrible machine! I changed my mind about buying you! Sons, help me with this, you lazy elf! Where are we? <sighs> okay, I think the worst is over. Lucky me, only four nozzles broke. Otherwise, I'd be in for a world of... Good heavens! Sons, get in here and help me battle this demon machine! This instant! We must stop it before it turns the whole world into ice cream! Wonder how those chumps are doing. Can't be that bad. I give them a hard time, but at least Papyrus is a hard worker. Sans is a slacker, but he'll step up if his bro needs it. I'm sure they're doing just fine. What? Ice cream? Papyrus! You idiot! How did you manage to screw this one up? Ah, oh, my poor ice cream shop! It's through now because of you two! Well, that 
was the opposite of refreshing. This whole thing was a mistake. I hope Paps is doing better, but I'm done. D-O-N-E. Done. Frisk likes sticks, right? I'll get them a nice stick. The both of you have really done it now! Both my shop and my rental costume! Completely destroyed! I knew it was a bad idea hiring you two! It, 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 it was an accident, Undyne. I didn't mean to. The machine must be old or something. And needed new parts or a new f flux capacitor or whatever ice cream machines need. Please don't hurt me. Nuh-uh. You're not weaseling out of this. I told you not to press everything at once, and you totally did just that. Uh, I was just trying to please an undecided customer. Uh, the customer is king, after all. I've heard enough out of you! Now compensate me for the losses, or I'll take it out of your hide! Er, bugs. Brother, can you do one of your big sooty pew pew things at her? I'm sure we could get away if you were to do that. Nah, she'd just dodge it and then we'd be in more trouble. Besides, we gotta take responsibility. Not that I'm usually one to pay debts, but I don't normally have to pay at spear point. We'll clean this up and work to pay it off, okay, Undyne? No need. I'm sick of your faces. You're both fired. And make sure I don't see you two for a while. You don't want to know what I'll do if I do. So not only are we completely penniless and can't afford a gift for Frisk, but we also ruined Undyne's business. What a shameful day for the great Papyrus. I did not expect money to be the source of such misery. Now I know why humans say it's the root of all evil. But still, I'm disappointed in myself for not being able to make any. I wasn't aware you were in dire straits, youngin. Sons! These people just gave us money and we didn't even have to do anything! What is this miraculous lock we found? Now we can afford a gift for Frisk! Guess there's something to be said for begging. Not sure how I feel about it, though. But sure, we got the money now. What are we gonna buy? Oh dear, dear, inexperienced brother. For a gentleman as cultured and well-versed in the world of gift-giving as I am, this is a poultry question. The answer is very simple. Just let the great papyrus handle this whole thing. So, what did you end up getting for Frisk, Paps? Looks heavy. <laughs> it is the perfect gift for any occasion. One that humans in particular are in great need of. I'm sure that Frisk will love it. Hey, you two. It's so good to see you. I'm glad you could make it to my party. Frisk, this is your birthday gift. We spent all day making money to buy it just for you. It is the latest model, luxurious to the tiniest micrometer. Go ahead and open it, Frisk. No way! You got me something? You didn't have to. Uh, what? What is this? Happy birthday, Frisk! Do you love it? I researched human burial services and found this is an essential component. Now you will be prepared for the rest of your life. Oh, Pyrus! No! Oh! Are you McFrickin' kidding me with that? You got Frisk a tombstone for their birthday? How absolutely tone deaf are you? That ain't just a bad birthday gift, that's the worst birthday gift! Ah! So stop you! I was only trying to oh, to make a free slap in my future! Please stop it! Oh dear! Beating me this is now in one! <laughs> 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 <laughs>